On March 4th, 2015, news came in of a huge explosion near Donetsk in eastern Ukraine. The city's coal mine of Zasyadko had collapsed, leaving dozens of workers dead and at least 14 injured. Six months later, in September 2015, near Lviv in western Ukraine, a gas explosion 300 meters below the surface causes local seismic tremors and traps five miners underground. Luckily, this time it is not a real catastrophe. It is the scenario for a major exercise involving 1,100 personnel jointly organized and executed by NATO's Euro-Atlantic Disaster Response Coordination Center and the State Emergency Service of Ukraine. How can an exercise like this help international teams to respond in a real crisis situation? We try to be as realistic as possible and try to simulate uh, real disaster situations. And in a major disaster, this is exactly the situation that you find yourself in, that international teams uh, come to the, to the disaster scene very quickly. The rescue has been further complicated by damage to critical infrastructure caused by the seismic tremors, which have left some major populated areas without utilities. Moreover, an alert is sent to the chemical, biological, radiological, and nuclear decontamination team due to a possible radiation leak to one of the vehicles following a major road accident. While rescue teams are pulling survivors from what could have been their tombs, time is running out for those still waiting to be saved. For them, there's just one hope, rescue as quickly as possible. In emergency medicine, the rule of the golden hour refers to a time period lasting for one hour or less immediately following traumatic injury, in which medical treatment optimizes the chance of survival. For the first time in an exercise, a multinational telemedicine system is being tested. Such a system ensures that medical experts located in other countries can provide precious medical support via satellite communications. From a, a pure, small, diagnosis from fractures, from trauma, to all the way to emergency operations. There is nothing outside medicine that cannot be done through telemedicine. Having help through telemedicine is an amazing feeling. And you save lives, no question about it. You will save lives. Specialists are one click away. We can, we can get them from anywhere on the planet. The Ukrainian President Petro Poroshenko and the NATO Secretary General Jens Stoltenberg during his first official visit to Ukraine, opened this third consequence management exercise hosted by Ukraine. The leaders stressed how the rescue teams need to be even more prepared. NATO has been hosting these exercises for 15 years. Every year, nations come together from across the alliance and from around the world, not to learn how to fight, but to learn how to work together in the face of catastrophe, to put theory into praxis and to save people's lives.